Hi, my name's Lee, I'm from MGI. Today I'm going to show you how to install your seat on your Zip Series cart. To do so, you'll require a Phillips head screwdriver, and we'll begin by unpacking the seat from its box. There are three pieces within the box. This is your crossbar, the top section of your seat, and the base. Okay, put the box to the side and we'll open up the top section of the seat where you'll find two bolts with two nuts. So we'll begin by removing these nuts from the bolts. So we'll take them out of the packaging and just release the two nuts on the end of these bolts. Put them to the side. And you'll notice that underneath the top half of the seat, there are two inserts for the base to, to go through. And on either side, you'll put the bolts through their sections. They go from the outside in. And if you notice on the inside of each side, there is a groove for each nut to sit into position. So we'll begin with fitting the base of the seat. To the top like so and as mentioned we'll fit these bolts from the outside through and again from the outside all the way through then we'll fit the nut into its respective groove like so and we'll use the Phillips head screwdriver just holding on to the nut on its groove on the inside and using a Phillips head screwdriver we can then fasten until firm. Again, on the other side, we want to fit the nut into its groove. And using a Phillips head screwdriver, tightening up until nice and firm. Okay, now the seat is assembled. You notice that the front opening area is aligned with the feet of the seat. We'll put the seat to the side and we'll focus on inserting the cross member into the cart. So <clears throat> there is a lever that you can release on the cart, like so. This lever needs to be released before you insert the cross member, only on the right hand side. So standing behind the cart, you'll notice that the, the bar can only go onto the right hand side comfortably. So the seat will always need to be installed on the right hand side. Also you want to notice that the plastic is flush with the bar. This is the wrong way to insert it, this is upside down. So you want this plastic to be flush with and level with the bar. So we'll insert this crossbar through the chassis and then using this coloured lever, lock it back in until it's firm. You'll notice that now it can't move. And then finally, using the seat, and it's insert, we will insert the seat into position. You'll notice that the seat hits the ground comfortably for you to sit down. If it hasn't been installed correctly, your seat will not hit the ground. So you'll have to flip the bar over and insert it the right way. That's how you install a seat to a Zip Series car. Thanks for watching.